Hello and welcome to Dino Let's Play. Me, Game of Six, Red Dead Redemption 2. On last Let's Play, we brought Lumber here and then got attacked by a bunch of people with bows and arrows. Does plans make any sense? Oh, sure. But like white guys. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning and. You do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Are you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Is this gonna be that one funny scene where a Jaguar keeps on attacking these guys building a house? Annoying. He's right. You get on with this. So wait, I thought we were getting a pre-built house. Oh, yep, that's that's this thing. Jaguar wandered in and started uh, attacking John Marston constantly. Gonna build a house, gonna build it real pretty. Gonna do something, something, something in the city. There's a bird. That bird don't give a f. f. If I remember, I'm going to put a, hopefully if YouTube doesn't, you know, strike me for it, put a link to another YouTube video, the one where the guy gets constantly attacked by a Jaguar. Yep, that's a floor. Yep. Gonna go down. Eh, never mind. Oop. I pressed uh, Let me have a rule the left mouse button. God, you'd go through so many bloody nails for this house. And 
I think that's everything. <laughs> Hopefully, no one burns it down. You have a home. Because that took so long to do. So do you. Like oh. five minutes. Oh. And you, Charles. As long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> now do the actual farming part. My darling Abigail. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I have a house. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. A few days later, Son of a biscuit. That is why I want to get through this game as quickly as possible. Because stuff like that. <sighs> well, good thing it, I, they, I suppose they save between like things. Boy, at the end of the that scene where like there's this long mission where you're fighting and running and fighting and then your guy dies and then it did that i was just i was worried i'd have to do the entire mission all over again but luckily it saved afterwards god this game and it's not just this that it crashes and that for some reason OBS has a hard time keeping up with the frames with it. And sometimes you go through this process right here all the way up until, you know, you start the game. As in you start playing it, you know, after the loading screen and stuff like that. But also it's like... At the end of the entire process, which can take several minutes, sometimes the game would crash. And then I'd have to go into a file and delete something and yada yada yada. Lord. Like this game takes so fucking long to load. Oh yeah, and the other thing I don't like is I remember trying to play this while I was at sea. If you don't have an internet connection, you can't play it. Which I feel is very stupid. Because sometimes, when you're at sea, you want to do some fishing. If you're not at sea, you can't really do some fishing. Oh, son. Boy, where were you? Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. Can, can we skip this? How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning. And... Well, we're going to build a house again. Or could we skip this?
Gonna just put it nicely down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'd probably be the dick if I were these guys that would be like, I can move one of these by myself, and then an hour later my back would hurt, and I'd be like, bugger. Oh, I can just not do anything. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail now, nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. I guess it just has to get to the song parts. No matter what the weather. Gingerly. That bird really likes watching us. How did we get the uh, fireplace, anyways? Hey, we got farther this time. Looking proper red, Daddy. Never played the first game. One and two, but it was console exclusive, I believe. I I used to have consoles quite often. But it was like I had the Xbox, PlayStation, PlayStation Two, oh, PlayStation Three, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Where the hell? The two reasons. Oh. Well, they're kind of two things that made me uh, switch on, to um, PC. One was that I bought the PlayStation 3 so I could play, what was it? Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. But then after that, I... I'm going to stay here. We... Uh, Actually, I'll just leave this story till next week. Anyways, spay neuter animals, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And until next time, let's play me, Yimuu, 6 of Red Dead Redemption 2. So thanks and see ya.